So I was looking for a camera bag to travel with, and I came across the Nomadic and Peter McKinnon collaboration. Now, full disclosure, I have no idea who Peter McKinnon is. I'm really out of the loop, so I have to go look him up. But anyway, this Nomadic McKinnon camera cube pack highly interested me because look at this. It appears to just be a simple camera case, no biggie, but wait, it turns into a backpack. How cool is that? So let's get into the bag a little bit more. It supposedly works best when paired with the 35 liter McKinnon camera pack as it nests nicely inside the top compartment of the bag. For clarification, the Nomadic McKinnon collection also has a 25 liter camera pack, which will not fit this cube. And unfortunately, I don't have either of those packs, so I can't speak to that. So as a camera cube, it offers 360 degrees of protection with padding all around. You got the bottom, the top has padding, bottom padding, all around the sides is nicely padded. It's also water resistant. Little band here where you can stick stuff in. It doesn't have a handle though. Um, even on the bottom, there's these straps, but they're kind of, it's, it's stuck to the bottom. So you can't really use those. Not sure what those are for. Now if we get to the inside of the camera cube. <laughs> zippers seem nice and strong. Not sure if they're YKK zippers though. So the inside has customizable dividers. Velcro dividers. Now in all honesty, I'm not a big fan of the brown coloring, but that's just my personal taste. So one thing to note are the dimensions. The length is about 13.25 inches with a depth of 7.25 inches. So bigger camera bodies with long lenses attached might be a bit of a squeeze or might not fit at all. So for example, here's the Canon 70-200mm to lens, which would not fit if it were attached to a camera body. And another thing is that the height of the camera compartment is about 5 inches. So again, if you have larger cameras, then it might not fit or you might have trouble getting the zipper to close. I have here the Sony a7 III, which pokes out just a little bit at the top, but the compartment is able to close. Alright, now the good stuff. This top zipper compartment here holds the backpack portion. Just unzip this and connect the backpack straps. I really like the backpack strap connectors. It's easy to put on and take off. It has a satisfying snap to it. Since the backpack's not rigid, if you have only a small amount of items in the backpack, you can compact it down. But if you do have a lot of items, the backpack can hold up to 21 liters of stuff. So let's take a look at the straps. It does include a chest strap, which is nice. However, some reviewers say that the shoulder straps dug into their shoulders, but other reviewers said it's fine. So I guess it just depends on how much weight you have in the backpack. As you can see, there's not that much padding on the shoulder straps. So just a few things that I didn't like about the backpack is that it doesn't have a water bottle holder on it. And also there's no quick access pocket in the front for small items like your keys or your phone or your wallet. There's also not that many straps to attach things like carabiners or tripod or other items like that. Also the camera cube bottom compartment is not really quick access. You kind of need a stable surface to rest the backpack on if you want to open that compartment. If it's a little heavy then the compartment can open and tip. But overall I like the construction of the bag. It feels pretty durable and not too flimsy. And I really like that it's lightweight at 1.36 pounds. And of course, it's extremely compact. All right, so thanks for watching my review of the Nomadic McKinnon Camera Cube Pack. If you're interested in purchasing the bag, or if you just want to know more about it, please check out the links in my video description below. And please let me know in the comments what your favorite travel camera bag is.